All right, boys, so welcome to the uh, moving vlog. This is what we're dealing with. Gonna move basically all of this stuff down into the garage so it's ready to be stuck in the moving van. Um, so yeah, I don't really know where to start. I guess we're just gonna move this chair and uh, I think I'll probably start on my setup first. We're gonna go and probably pack up the mouse and keyboard first and then we'll get the audio stuff all like safe and everything. So yeah, let's just eat all of this stuff. Everything needs to be unplugged. Oh, that did not sound good. <laughs> Thankfully, I have mel multiple display port cables, so it's chill. Um, yeah, so I have my box right here for my keyboard, so maybe I'll just do that first. Doing one-handed packing is... Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> I might end up just setting my uh, my camera up somewhere, doing like a time lapse or something. All right, so the keyboard is good. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. I remember the first time when I got this box, it was just super confusing as to how everything worked, how you stuck the cable in, but everything went well. And now we can probably gonna put this in here. It's a nice big box. So yeah, that seems decent. I might put it over like that way as well. But now I gotta find where I put the box for my mouse. Oh heck, here we go. Actually I haven't, I've had this mouse for like exactly two years now. So I can't remember exactly how this thing's packaged. We'll find out here. Looks pretty basic. Just uh, chonk that guy in there. There we go, all packed up. Pog. And I think I have a specific holder for the headphones, but we'll just uh, get those unplugged and out of the way for now. Not have to be perfect or anything. All right, so these are just gonna live here for now. <laughs> I really don't know where I wanna put them. Um, Time for the audio equipment, I guess. Let's do this. So I have a nice, super nice box for my microphone. Uh, it pays to keep all your boxes, because you never know when you're gonna move. And yeah, it just really does pay to make sure you have all your boxes for everything. Also, I have Took out this stuff, this is what the mouse was in, but like, I'm never gonna use that. So like, might as well just stick it in the box and get it done with. Microphone holder, little shock mount. I'm gonna stick this in here because that's where this thing goes. Alrighty, out she comes. Slowly but surely. Definitely not gonna drop it. Boop. And there we go. Um, usually, I uh, take this off because there's an actual holder for it. it has its own special little perfectly formed cubby. And there we go. This thing is like super important. And there we go. Got our that part of the mic packed. Now we'll just do this part. It's just screws, unscrews from this. And then this is just my parents, because they're musicians. So I just like stole their <laughs> mic thing. <laughs> all right, looks like we have our mic all uh, fixed up. Pog, dude. Uh, all safe for the road trip. And then I guess we'll just, what do we do next? I guess we just deal with this real quick. And then the cable. So I'll just pull this over here, unloop this. I don't actually have a box for this yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a place to stick it. 
won't be that difficult, I don't think. Now we'll just unplug this other end of the cable. Ever since I got a new, this new um, audio interface, it's just like been so amazing because my old one, this thing would not come out of very easily. You'd have to yank on it really hard. And that's not really the best thing when you're dealing with audio equipment because everything is just super sensitive. You have to be super careful with everything. All right, cool. So I'll just completely take this out. This was partially holding up my um, audio interface. Had a really like compact setup. We'll unplug the monitor as well now. There we go. And we're gonna be packaging this and it's boxing over there. So I'll just stick it right here for now. And then we have the Thunderbolt. Well, not Thunderbolt, but um, oh, what is it? Firewire, I'll connect, Firewire connector as well. We'll stick this over here. You will also have a box for that, that right there. And I was just using that, this thing to prop it up. So this is also gonna be a part of the packing process. So we want that for my setup, where I'm gonna to move to. All right, this is coming along quite nice. Just have all the cables to deal with now. Um, I think, I guess we just package the stuff that I've taken out. This very chunky box for a very chunky overkill audio interface for what I do. Hey, all I had to do was pay 90 bucks to be able to use it. So like, I'm not gonna complain. It's a lot better than anything else I could get for 90 bucks online. Just had to lift up that end and stick this one on. So, I, I think this is probably good enough for, for what it needs to be. We also have this, these little things that are gonna slide in, the edges, and that'll act as a spacer as well. So it'll hold it nice and tight, which is perfect. You want a tight fit on everything so it doesn't joss around, especially electronics. You need to be extremely careful. Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not smart at all. Have to put the cables in. So we have this one. This isn't actually the cable that came with it. The other the cable that came with it is actually extremely long. And I don't need it that long, so I just have this one. Um do you know what? I'm gonna keep the cables separate. Um because they're basically all the same and I can tell because they're all labeled anyways. So I don't know what I was thinking there. I have like a special cable box with all my cables in them. Power cable, firewire cable, everything. There we are. And that is all packaged up. Very good. This packaging for the monitor, not good. I'm not gonna complain, but like, it's just like, you have to destroy it. I have to destroy it to like, get it in properly. As you can see down there, not too well, but you have to kind of destroy the packaging to get it in, which isn't very good. I also have this thumb screw on the bottom of this thing, which makes it quite handy because it's a toolless, um, Tool us to put it together and take it apart, which is very nice to see. So that, that goes in after the fact. If I'm not mistaken, it just goes in like so. Just like this. Slides in and it just rips up the bottom of that packaging. But hey, it works, so. And we will, Hmm, I don't know. I think I guess I, I, I think what I'll do is I'll uh, Take the HDMI cable and stick it in there with the, uh, with the Power cable as well. I'll just be good to have together Since it actually has a little holding pouch for it as well, so it makes it more convenient than the other box I've done the power cable and just unplug everything. 
Should have done this earlier, but the whole part of moving, I guess, is figuring out stuff as you go. No point in overthinking stuff. Especially when it doesn't pay off. All right, we have the cable situated now. I just stuffed that one in there because it gets, I don't want it to get bent a ton. Prefer it to just stay similarly straight. So if it's like that, then it's perfect. And that's monitor one then. It's actually my dad's monitor. He bought it for me like a year or two ago. He just lets me use it because he's not using it for his laptop right now, which was my old laptop. So <laughs> interesting how that works. All right, so I think it's time for the big monitor now. I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way. Um, that was the packaging from there. I don't know if I wanna keep it. We'll see. I think most of it's just garbage. Like, it doesn't do much for the monitor anyways. So we'll grab the monitor, big boy box. Lots of tape on that. Probably nice because it keeps it secure. At least it did when it was shipped first ship. Gives you steps for taking it off, but I'm already pretty sure I know how to. So. Just takes a little bit to slide out. So basically what we have to do is take the monitor, like so, oh chunky boy, and stick it in here. Actually, hmm, yeah we'll just, we can just let it go in. Besides, since it's my super nice monitor, I'm gonna use the actual wrapping for it. Probably smart. Then we just plunk this boy out, and we good. Now just this, this just sits in here nice and comfy. Bring it out like this, and then stick it back. And usually it's just taped like this when it's in box, when it's in the actual thing itself. And then this just goes on top. If I'm not mistaken, uh, maybe it's the other way. Whew. All flush. And then we take this part off. So the bottom of this comes off and it just sits in like one of these things. I forget exactly which one it is. Ah. I finally figured it out. This thing was so confusing. Like, you look at this, you don't, like, it just doesn't look like, where are you supposed to put this? But then it just goes like, right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Took me so long to figure that out. And then we'll just stick this in here as well with the power cord. Um, we'll just go in here, I guess. Oh, already sick in the box let's go uh, it's kind of always nerve-wracking packing all your expensive gear up so you have to make sure it's like good for going in a moving truck and that's always a fun time because those things get their weight thrown around all the time on the road Especially on the road that we're going on. It's super windy and stuff. Cool. So now it's just like uh, all the cables and my computer. Interesting. So what I need to do is take out the graphics card, the CPU cooler, and a few other things and put them in their boxes. And then we're fine to like put, like move this anywhere I want to. So I'm gonna get to that. I just gotta get a few things. All right, so as you can see, I have my computer flipped around. We have the GPU case. We also have this for the CPU. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Pop the side panel off. And we have access to the GPU. So what we're gonna do is pop this bad boy out. Um, 
I'm also going to actually replug in the power. Make sure the power button or the this thing's off, which I'm almost positive it is. Make sure it's off, and then I can also use it as a grounding device. So I'm, I'm gonna do that real quick. Moment of truth, will it power? And it does not, so we good. Now all I have to do is just put my finger on here and I'm grounded, so I don't have to worry about shorting anything out at all. So first things first, what do we wanna do? I think we wanna do the GPU because it'll give us the most space for when we wanna take the CPU out. So let me just remove the PCI connector. Powers, There's, there the power goes. Um, I'm gonna tape this down eventually. For now, I'll just have it hanging out here. Yo, actually we need our, we need a screwdriver, I forgot about that. So I'll grab that real quick. Screwdriver time! Okay, pluggers. So I'm probably gonna do most of this um, where I'm not filming because it requires concentration and other stuff, but I'll update you along the way. All right, so the first thing I ended up taking out was this, my um, firewire adapter. So we're gonna package that real quick. All right, so we removed the uh, GPU and now all we have to do is remove this and my hard drive. And then maybe we'll, we'll secure this a little bit more. I'm not too sure. But yeah, got this done. I'm gonna close the box real quick. So now this can just go back in the box that I had it in before. Like so. This is nice because I don't have to worry about it again. All right, so I removed the fan. Now we just have to do the cooler. Man, this thing was actually kicked on here. Like, at least took like two pounds of pressure to pull it off, which is scary. <laughs> Anyhow, um, that's it now. I just have to clean this, take off the hard drive and we're good. All right, so the CPU dies all clean now, at least to my standards. Like it, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, now we're just cleaning that off. All right, so I've taken out the hard drive, boxed up the cooler, put everything back there. So it's all snug, it's not going anywhere. Ooh, I also have these for my, um, one of my lamps, the little light bulbs. I'm gonna stick this in here as well while I'm at it. Perfect fit. <laughs> That thing's jam-packed. Anyhow, so the computer's basically ready to travel. I might tie down a few cables, but they're not going to do any damage down there. There's nothing to damage, nothing important. If they all like decide to freak out and go crazy down there. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, one thing I'm not too sure about is if I should take my C the CPU out. I'm pretty sure it's fine just leaving it right there. I'm almost positive, because this thing hold, this like little mechanism holds it down. So I might research that a bit, but other than that, everything's ready to go. So, big epic. All right, so that's basically it. I have the computer all packaged up. I'm just gonna clean up everything now, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.